In this lecture, what we want to do is get back the enemy characters to be able to hit the main players. Now, in the past, we only had one main player. Now we have multiple main players. So we'll have to change the script so that the characters, the enemy characters, attack all the players and not just one player. Now, if you look in the assets, there's a mini Spider-Man folder that has the Spider-Man prefab right there. As you can see on the bottom right, this is the Spider-Man one. Now, we do already have spawn points for the Spider-Man characters, the mini Spider-Man. We have four of them. Right now, I'm just going to enable one of them. So I'm going to click on enable the spawn points in the inspector and disable the, the, the three other ones. I don't need them for now. So I disable this one, disable this one and this one. So I just have the spawn point prefab. Now, if you can see, it does have a spawn enemy script here. And that's great because it's already using the spawn enemy script. So we're going to open it and make the modification to actually get to spawn the, um, the character. Now, open that. But before we even get there, we need to make sure that the Iron Man, uh, I'm sorry, the Spider-Man prefab is ready for networking. All right, so select the Spider-Man character. Look inside of the mini Spider-Man. You see the Spider-Man prefab drag and drop it inside of your hierarchy. The reason why we're doing this is that we want to also synchronize the animator. So let's go ahead and work on that. First of all, let's add the uh, type, the, the network stuff that we want for the Spider-Man. Click on add component and locate the network identity. If you don't put the network identity, then there is no way to synchronize it from the server to all the clients. So add that. Once you have the network identity, do not select server only or local player authority. No, because you want it to be on all the machines. So it's going to be very similar than what we did earlier for the Firebolts, the regular one and the Firebolts blue. All right. Now that you have that, we also want to synchronize the uh, position and rotation. So add component, network, and look for network transform. There it is. And for the transform, put the max for the network transform. Um, it's not performance wise, it's using a, a lot of uh, resources, but that's okay right now. We just want to make sure that it's following it on the server and the client. And then um, one more uh, one more network identity, one more network component to add, locate for the network animator. All right. The reason why we want a network animator is because we want to synchronize all the animations, such as the idle mode, the walk, the hit, and the death. So now this is looking for an animator. So click on the target and select the Spider-Man prefab from the, from the assets or actually from the scene right here. All right. And then select the death, the attack and the idol. So make sure you select all those checkboxes. All right. Now that this is done at this point, make sure you go all the way up and click on apply. If you do not click on apply, this will not apply to the prefab. Now that this is done, I'm going to just delete the Spider-Man prefab from the hierarchy. There's no need of it anymore. The job is done for the prefab. Delete. All right. So at this point, we have all the setup to get the first spawn point to spawn uh, the, um, the, the, the mini Spider-Man. But now we need to create the script. And that's what we're going to be doing in the next lecture.